I am Helena from the Mongoose Enablement Team, and I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to create your high productivity forms and widget using Mongoose. For this video, we are going to build a computer request widget, which will be a widget inside Homepages. We'll be creating two tables and a working widget by the end of this session. First, we are going to use our new data maintenance wizard. The new data maintenance wizard is a convenient way of creating your forms, SQL tables, and audio all in one go. We are going to begin with our MET computer request table. We are also going to specify our IDO project and also our table alias. I am going to be specifying what columns I need, such as employee number, first name, last name, requested date, computer requested, and comments. After specifying my columns, I'm going to indicate my primary key and the required columns of this table. Let's go ahead and click Next and Finish. Now you have successfully created your forms, SQL tables, and IDOs. To create a widget, we'll start a new build from scratch form and attach the computer request IDO. The standard size of a widget is 42 by 17 characters. Navigating to Form Properties and the Collections tab, we can drag and drop different components onto the form for a more customized look. When customizing your form, take note of the framework and user components you can drag onto your form, which are found on the left-hand side of your screen. I just dragged a button component, which is a framework component, to my form. After dragging the needed fields, make sure to save and close your form for the binding to work. Also, take note of the tools above your form that can help you with aligning your components. You can also change the component type on the component properties. In my example, I just changed an edit box to a combo box. Feel free to edit your form as much as you want until you achieve the desired look. We are also going to add a hidden grid that is bound to the primary collection. After this, I would also like to create my employee table so that I can add validation onto my computer request form. Using the same exercise, I'm also going to be using the new data maintenance wizard. From this form I just created, I'll be entering my employees. After populating my employee table, I have also created a widget out of my computer request form. We are now ready to add list source validators to our widget, which we'll see in our home pages. I'm adding employee IDEO collection as a list source to this widget. We are now going to set up the validators for our employee number and specify it as an IDEO collection. After selecting this employee number, our first name and last name would be automatically populated. I have already set up the list source for computer requested, and we are now going to set up the validator for this list source. I have added a prompt event to my submit button. If the user clicks yes, the entry will be saved and will then prepare the form for the next entry. If not, 
there will be no changes to the collection. Make sure you check out all your IDOs before going to the home pages. Before adding our widget to the home pages, we'll need to set up the initial command under form properties. We'll set it to refresh. And we'll add an event handler which is standard form refresh completed and under that is our standard form new so that we can prepare the widget to add a new record. I am adding the InformMongus widget onto my home pages, and then we can configure it. As we can see, our validators prompt their corresponding error messages if the inputs are invalid. We have just successfully made our Mongoose widget inside home pages. For more Mongoose content, visit the portal at https mongoose.infor.com. And if you want to see how to get embedded video into your next Mongoose app, check out our last video.